I want to get rid of the chrome fittings there. This nitrosity is going away. That's not going to be there. And when the replacement does come, it's not going to be chrome. Uh, this acrylic, that's not going to be there anymore. We have the correct professional actual kit from Baro. Also, the reservoir is being changed out. And the plugs, these plugs are getting changed out to something different. I think the block is okay. Uh, this should be okay but we are going to incorporate a couple of more things into the loop so we've ordered extra tubing and we're going to go ahead and get these fittings ordered uh, to make sure I got enough to do what I want to do this case is almost too small which I was really surprised about I thought this would have been a bigger case to tell you the truth all right, the machine's tore apart now. We got it basically drained. Anyway, the radiator over here is good. We're gonna go ahead and take all that stuff off right there and replace it with the actual hardware, which is actually sitting behind it. That and this. Can you see it? Yeah, that's what we're gonna use. It's gonna look a lot better than this stuff. And we are also replacing the reservoir with a new Borrow style reservoir. This is a very different looking reservoir. It's still a T-Virus, but it's different. And I'm hoping that it really adds the zing that I need to it. Ah, now tell me, doesn't that look much better and cleaner? Yes, it does. Very nice. This is our original flow block. Alright? And this is our new flow block, complete with RGB. And as you can see, there is a significant size difference between the two. So, hopefully, this one will work better and look better. Okay, so what I think, this was just uh, a quick video guys, just something really to put out. Um, I'm still working on it. I went ahead and ordered all of the fittings and everything else that I could possibly get. Uh, the end of this video, I'm going to be showing you the fittings that I bought. And I'll just end it out with that. Here's kind of a final look. We went ahead and ordered a few more of these. Okay, to... Um, to finish the look on the top there because well you really can't see it and we have an extra one right have an extra one I don't like it like that so I bought two more of these to fill in the top row there you know I me mean? I gotta go with evenness and I like how the new reservoir looks and then there's the new pump or plug in it I've been even looking at the radiators. I was thinking about replacing the radiator, going to a thinner radiator, but I don't think the thickness of the radiator really matters in this build. It's more about space for me. Okay. We got the pump. Lovely, the pump. So this is our pump. Um, I took it apart and just kind of double checked it. Everything looks good. It runs good too. Look here, you can see that my fittings are chrome. We are changing those fittings out to black ones. And I just reordered all of those too. So I'll show you guys that as well. And then this is waiting to be, well, built with. I got our fittings and plugs and everything else that I need in there. I just got some 90 degree ones um, and I bought some extenders problem I don't think I'm going to use two sensor gauges temperature sensor readout gauges it's just more wiring more confusion and I really don't want to deal with all of that to order some fittings and here we are some already came 
These are uh, the 90 degree fittings. I figured uh, these are compression fittings. I figured that these would be easier. Sometimes it's easier to just make two straight pipes instead of trying to bend one long pipe. Um, and these fittings will help me uh, achieve some of that. And let's see here. I got some 45 degree angle fittings. I'm hoping that some of these fittings will help me resolve my issue with the reservoir being in the middle of the radiator. I have extenders, but I don't have black extenders. Mine are like um, either black chrome or chrome. So these are just a flat black uh, fitting, and this is by Bit Power. So they're they're good quality fittings, uh, but I needed at least four of them, and 20 bucks for four. Well, that's not a bad deal at all. And of course, they make them in three different sizes, as you can see right here at the bottom. But I think this would be sufficient for me. I was, I pointed out earlier about my GPU and that those 90 degree fittings on it were chrome and that I was switching them out to black. Uh, these are the black ones I plan on replacing them with. Nothing special about them. Just a four pack of 90 degree rotating fittings. Hopefully they, they work good and hold up good. These are shorter uh, female or male to female 45 degree extenders. Uh, kind of like the ones I bought earlier or showed you earlier, but they're they're a little bit longer. These are a little bit shorter. Uh, so maybe that way if you don't have all the clearance that you need, um, a slightly shorter 45 degree might help. This is how I plan on solving the reservoir to radiator issue I have. Uh, I've been looking for offset style uh, valves or uh, yeah valves that I can use um, or fittings and I can't find ones that aren't like $50 for one. It's crazy so I'm gonna try this. Hopefully this will work. It was only 12 bucks for this one fitting was $12 it's insane but I'm hoping that this one fitting will help um, considering that it goes up and then it kind of curves off uh, this is actually the angle that I was trying to make with a plastic tube and it just right here in the center where that where it it, it turns and makes the 45 and then it turns again and makes a 90 to go straight down uh, that angle right there always creates bubbling in the plastic tubing which you don't get that problem if you have this fitting so I mentioned that I had to buy two more of these yeah I mean I already got two of the fans two out of the what four yeah two out of the four fans that run on the side and the top those three in the, the exhaust fan that's four two of them are already covered so I went ahead and just bought two more of these these are 11 bucks a piece Hopefully these don't arrive busted. I've I've had to reorder these several several times. Um, like for instance, I bought three of them to just get one good one. Uh, what happens is is the little thin honeycomb, like those little s small thin pieces there, it arrives cracked and broken because they put a heavy box on top of it, or I don't know, just something broke it because look at it it's it's super thin and it doesn't really come with much protection so I have to order a few of these sometimes to just get one good one so I ordered two of them hopefully both show up working and not broken it's like a phone amplifier basically you set your phone um, like in this little contraption here and there's a screen in front of it and it magnifies the image so it makes the image bigger, what you see on your phone. And of course, they make them in all different shapes, sizes, some with speakers, some of them really nice, some of them really cheap. Um, but it was it's basically the same concept. Uh, 
each. So I just bought this one. It's twelve bucks. So what what can go wrong for for thirteen dollars? I've I've spent way more and got a lot less before. So well we'll see how this goes, and I'll do a video on it too. I needed a few more fittings. Uh, these are male to male five millimeter extender fittings. And I needed uh, a couple of more. Look at that Titan rig. Yeah, I needed a few more of them to uh, help me out in a couple different situations. You, because <laughs> once again, I only have chrome of these, and I only have like a chrome black. I don't have any just solid matte black fittings like this. So you can't run all black fittings and then put a chrome you know extender mail to mail fitting in between it. it it just won't look right so you have to have all black so for um, what is it six for thirteen dollars what a great deal and i've bought from titan rig before and i mean this my whole computer is put together with titan rig and bits power fittings and then the last thing that i bought was that i needed a couple of more 14 millimeter um, outer diameter compression fittings these are black freeze mod fittings um, they're made by the same companies borrowed by whisk by sky by ski i don't know how to pronounce that damn name i'm gonna ask siri what it is maybe she'll tell me or google i don't know one of them somebody tell me how to pronounce that word it's b y k s k i by by sky I don't know whatever but yeah I bought some more fittings because I needed them but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here guys thank you for watching make sure to leave me that like if you're new to this channel subscribe I appreciate all my current viewers thank you make sure to share this on Facebook and y'all be cool